Hey, South Florida, I'm Alexis Malord, back with another real estate tip. So unless you've been living under a rock, you know that recently our market for real estate has changed. So in this video, I'd like to explain to you the difference between a buyer's and a seller's market. Hey, South Florida. Hey, South Florida. Hey, South Florida. I'm Alexis Malord. I'm Alexis Malord. I'm Alexis Malord with another real estate tip. Alexis Malord with another real estate tip. In a buyer's market, it just means that there's more homes being sold than there are buyers in the market. Typically, in a buyer's market, it is less competitive for the buyer. However, the sellers are the ones who are competing to sell their homes. Also, during a buyer's market, the homes tend to be a little bit cheaper. They're on the market for a little bit longer, making the sellers more willing to negotiate. Sometimes during a buyer's market, there are stricter requirements for loans for the buyers and also the interest rates tend to be a little bit higher. Why? Because there's more inventory. That's why. So we want to make sure that whoever is, is in the market and buying has the funds to buy so that we don't have that same crash that happened back in 2008. I'm going to give you a little bit of some tips for the buyers who are buying during a buyer's market. Your first tip is you want to know exactly what your market is going for. You want to know how much the homes are selling for. Now, there's a difference between asking price and actually selling price. The asking price can either fluctuate up or down when it actually sells. So you want to make sure that you know what the homes in the area you're looking for are selling for. You also want to make sure that you look for areas where you can negotiate with the seller on the home. This could be the roof or the age, um, the roof condition or the age of the roof. It could be um, piping. It could be mold, radon gas, um, days on market, things like that. Also, you want to make sure that you have your property inspected. You never, ever want to uh, buy a property without having it inspected because you want to know what's, um, what, you're, what you're getting when you're purchasing a property, obviously. For the sellers selling in a buyer's market, you want to make your home stand out. Okay, so you want to make as many repairs as possible without um, spending too much, investing too much in the property because obviously we want to sell. You also want to make sure that your home is clean, your landscaping is looking nice. You can also stage your home to give the buyers more of a feel of how they can live in their new home. And a um, very, very important one is to make sure that you are pricing your home at um, a great price. So if you are hiring a real estate professional to help you sell your home, make sure you are talking with them about pricing strategies. There's many ways to price your home just right that can get your home sold very, very quickly. Okay. You also want to take professional photos of the home. This makes all the biggest of difference. Um, sometimes you can see people taking pictures with their iPhone and you can catch them in the mirror. It's, it's all the difference between that and having a beautiful photo taken and edited. Aerial view of the home and the area surrounding it makes all the more difference. It makes your home stand out and makes buyers more. It makes your home more appealing to buyers. If you are a seller, whether you're selling in today's market or in a buyer's market, you want and you want um, pricing strategies, make sure to click the link below to download my PDF of pricing strategies. All right, so let's talk about buying or selling in a seller's market. So a seller's market just means that there are less homes on the market than there are buyers who are willing to purchase. What this means is that it's more competitive to purchase a home during this time. Uh, interest rates are usually a little bit lower because we want to get those things sold as quickly as possible. And it's way more competitive. I'm not sure if I repeated that already, but I want to make sure that you know it's way more competitive. I've noticed people are just looking at homes, um, pictures of homes, and already making offers without seeing them in person. Um, people are foregoing 
inspections, which you never want to do, whether it's in a buyer or seller's market and things like that. So it can get really crazy during a seller's market. In a seller's market, you will notice that the homes tend to be a little bit higher priced. That's because there are more buyers willing to buy. There are less, uh, there are more buyers willing to buy less homes on the market. So of course, homes are going to go up, up, and up. It's it's really ridiculous some of the prices that I've been seeing, but people are actually out here buying. Um, you'll also notice that the markets tend to shift depending on the econo economic status of the world. So when things are going great, we tend to be more so in a buyer's market. And when the economic status of the world is a little bit lower, we tend to be in the seller's markets, which you can see because last year at the beginning of 2020, when the world kind of shut down, this is when we shifted into a seller's market. And a lot of people thought that the market was going to crash. We we're going to see something like we saw before in 2008, but that hasn't been the case whatsoever. The market has been pretty steady and people are waiting to see if the market is going to go down but so far it's been steady prices are going home uh, prices are going up competition is fierce so you want to make sure you have a real estate professional by your side if you're buying during this time let's get into some tips when you're buying during a seller's market you want to act quickly because cones are going to Homes are going to get off the market very, very quickly. So you want to put in your offer as soon as possible. Now, keep in mind when putting in your offer, you don't want to lowball. That's not the time to lowball or negotiate too much. Of course, there's always room to negotiate, but you don't want to over negotiate because that seller can just move right on to the next buyer. You want to make sure also that your financing is top tier and put together. You want to make sure that if you can do cash or conventional that you go that route because sometimes FHA can be unappealing because they have very strict guidelines. And you also want to make sure that you can get your application and loans um, in and uh, ready to go funded as quickly as possible. Now. I don't recommend um, foregoing any contingencies like HOA addendums or uh, inspection contingencies just because you're still buying that home and you're going to be stuck with that home for however long after you purchase it. So you want to make sure that what you're buying is actually worth it and there's nothing too major that's wrong with the home. Now, when you're selling during a seller's market, you also want to make sure that your home stands out. Um, you also want, you want to make sure that you're not just accepting an offer just because it's high. You want to make sure that the person's finances are together so that there's not too much um, crazy stuff going on during the duration of the transaction. And you want to make sure that you accept backup offers. As I was telling the buyers previously, Sometimes the contingencies can make it so that buyers are able to back out of the deal at any point in time. So if you want to get your home sold and sold quickly, have a backup offer in place. That is all the tips that I have for you in this video. And I want to ask you guys, what do you think? Should people buy during the seller's market or should they wait until a buyer's market? I'll give you my opinion in the next video. As always, my name is Alexis Malord, and I'm so happy to help. If you're enjoying these tips, please subscribe to the video and give this a thumbs up. Make sure to share with all your friends. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.